welcome back to 4TV, 4TV gang. It's your girl Lula Blue and it's a beautiful Saturday. Nice being back after the long Easter holiday. Yeah, before we dive into the conversation of what is bringing us here today, I want everyone to take this opportunity to think about the word scammers. What, do you, what comes to your mind when you think about scammers? Have you been scammed? Before we talk about my story, and share it with you before you hear what happened to me i'd also like to hear what happened to you so on the comment section below can you type to us and inform and educate and raise awareness of how you all relate to the word scammers i know beyond reasonable doubt that something popped up in your head when you saw the thumbnail and when you heard me speaking earlier so i want you to not be in fear to share your experience i want you to share your experience and let's make a public sphere just at, on this comment section below so now let's go to the story and now i'm going tapping into my storytelling skills so what actually happened was one my wonder how did i even get myself scared how did i get scammed in the first place like what was i doing on the internet searching for farmers who are going to sell me eggs so there's this guy here on campus who is famous for selling eggs he's literally called the egg boy and you guys know i was struggling with my business the delectables on which i sell wraps you know delectable wraps which is like your shawarma right and i was talking about it on my live that um i'm struggling with my business but i'm also looking into other things that i can actually venture into selling and make a profit out of that would not require me to spend much more time like the delectables so what did i do I was on the internet i remembered there's so many posters of the egg boy and i don't know if the egg boy is still operating however his prices are good why don't i start a business because i mean a little bit of competition wouldn't hurt right because you can't not tap into a certain business that's working just because you know someone else is doing it because you can also supply other people who are not buying from that person i mean the place where i stay at has a lot of students and you know how how students just want to make a quick meal either it's noodles eggs especially eggs people are always frying eggs left right and center especially yeah except those who don't eat eggs anyway so i thought to myself this could literally work so i needed to find a supplier of course the question of where do i start to find a supplier then came into question so i went on the internet then i searched i mean everything at this point you can ask people i did ask a few people i asked people from home i asked my aunties i asked my uncles and yeah people just told me somewhere in four ways you know and i didn't know how to get to four ways of course i could uber to four ways but where exactly at four ways am i going to get the eggs at i'm already like i already have that anxiety of not wanting to go to many places because of being scammed because of the cell phone um snatching thing that happened in, like late last year in december so yeah that happened and I went online i searched for suppliers and then i found these farms and then um i would say the two names of the people who's those farms that popped up first you know usually when you're searching for something and those two places that pop up first you would in your head register this could be the most reliable sources i mean go on the internet search anything search um travel agency search um places to be in a particular place you'll find that the most places that have been visited by people are the first ones to pop out you know pop up and those are have best reviews so for me i did just that i didn't read the view reviews yet which was one of the issues that i faced which was a bad idea i was supposed to read the reviews there and then you know because I mean you should also be in a position to verify all this information that you're getting instead of just taking and using which I didn't do you see I'm already pointing out the fault in the whole thing that I was doing so the companies that I found were Elimpilo, um Livestock Farming and also Sabelo Egg Farm so I got those numbers and when I went to I got those websites when I went to their website they redi redirected me to WhatsApp so I could WhatsApp these people. I mean, how convenient because some of us just have WhatsApp data. Great, right? Anyway, I continue. Okay, not great, but <laughs> I continued. I WhatsApp these people. Then they sent me their um, the list of their prices. Then they sent me pictures of eggs. Okay, at this point, I see even on their business, because those are business accounts, I see on their business WhatsApp account, they are catalogs with prices and every single thing, you know, and this fund don't only specialize in eggs. They do... Um, 
they have chickens, they have cows, they have, which is cattle, I, they have um, pigs and all other livestock, you know. And at this point, I'm convinced these farms are legit. I then ask for a quotation, they both give me quotations. And the one that I got for Isabelo was way was a bit expensive than the one for the for the livestock the Olympilo one so what I then I did was I I I, I went further to place an order at Olympil and then I said this is where I stay can you please make a delivery and then they said we don't deliver up until you pay so you have to pay upfront then we'll deliver I'm like can't you can't I pay on delivery and then they say no you can't pay on delivery then I say okay um how do I then pay then they don't send their de banking details what they do send they tell me that since my order is way too small then what they would give me a bank account to send to for I'm supposed to make a cash send I know right <laughs> that was the worst decision ever like if you think about it at that time i didn't think that deep i mean it's like when when a thief comes to attack you and and at the, the aftermath and you're explaining what happened it's almost like you there were signs the signs were there that this person was coming to do this or the signs you could have done something about it but it's already too late now that you're analyzing it because then that's when your mind starts thinking about all those things so i tell them i say I can't do a curse send. Isn't there another way that you can go about it? And they say, no, there's no other way. At this point, I want the eggs. I've already asked a friend to create a poster for me. The poster is already in the making. I've already asked other friends to, to take the eggs. At this point, I didn't say, I'm going to be selling eggs. I said, I'm going to supply you with eggs tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> I said I'm going to supply you guys with eggs tomorrow and they're like okay it's cool so I already have customers I have people waiting I have this poster that's in, in the making so yes what a great way to start a business let's do this right supply again I'm just like okay fine then I do the case thing then the payment when the person stops contact stop being in contact with me after I made the payment I'm thinking to myself this could be scammers but I mean, they sent me a, a proper invoice because with the invoice, uh, it had it even had an ID picture. I was just like, why did they attach an ID picture on the invoice? And I thought to myself, this is not the ID of the person that I'm contacting. Definitely not. Regardless of what the age was or what the name was, I just figured, no, it wasn't. But I mean, I just went ahead with it. So... Yeah, I said, ah, there's a possibility that I'm, 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 I, I was scammed. But then I wasn't sure. And you know what they did? So that I can be sure, like, or I can tr have some faith in them a little bit. They came back. So the rest of that evening, they didn't contact me. Oh, I asked them, before they stopped talking to me, I asked them, what time they, they're making the delivery? Because at first they had told me, we will make the delivery as soon as you process the payment. Then I make the payment. Then they tell me, um that they're gonna make the delivery tomorrow and at this point i'm like that's not what we agreed on then they stopped talking to me fine then we moved to the following day so the following day day in the morning i receive a call so this guy is telling me that he's from the insurance company that is responsible for delivery in fact they are from the delivery company however they also have like an insurance for the delivery since eggs are fragile and they can break so i have to pay for the insurance money first of all they confirm my names my full names my address my id and yeah you know which is reasonable and at this time i'm expecting a delivery during the day so now they come confirm that the delivery is still taking place actually